Hi, I'm David I from Embarcadero Technologies, and welcome to this demonstration of Delphi Prism running inside Visual Studio 2010. Embarcadero provides application developers and database professionals with award-winning, heterogeneous tools to design, build, and run their software applications and database systems. Delphi Prism is our rapid application development solution for .NET and Mono. The Delphi Prism programming language includes extensions for aspect-oriented programming and parallel programming. It integrates with Visual Studio 2010 and supports the latest .NET technologies including Windows Forms and ASP.NET, Windows Presentation Foundation, Windows Communication Foundation, Link, and Silverlight. You can build other types of .NET applications as well. Here's an example that uses aspect-oriented programming to inject methods inside of already built classes. We define the aspect, a log method on enter and exit of a function inside of our class. In this example by Jim McKeith, we can also look at the implementation of the aspects. So let's run the example. Here we enter the main, we call the test method, and then the aspect for logging the entering and exiting of the method run as part of the implementation. And in the middle is the body of the output of our test method. Delphi Prism also supports Link, so let's take a quick look at a, a simple example of using Link uh, to talk to a database. In the user interface of our example, we have two buttons to execute different queries using Link. The first one just does a select from the database, in this case the Microsoft AdventureWorks database. And the click of the other button does a select with an order by. Let's take a look at this example of using Link. We'll do the select and also do a join. Delphi Prism also supports WCF. So we'll open up a project that implements a web service. Here we have the service host. Let's take a look at the interface, which just is a, a simple calculator where we can do an addition and a subtraction. And then we have the implementation. So we'll start this web service, and it just says it's listing on port 8088 for any requests coming in. We can use Internet Explorer to show the WSDL that the simple calculator web service built with WCF is generating. And then I've built a native client in Delphi 2010, which imports the WSDL to generate a service proxy, which will define the interfaces. And then I've got two buttons here, one that just calls the do add function, and the other one that calls the, the do subtract. Let's run this Delphi native code client application that talks via web services to our Delphi Prism WCF. We'll put in a two numbers and call add and call subtract. So it talked to my WCF service to get the correct result. The Delphi Prism language also has parallel programming features including futures, parallel loops, and asynchronous code blocks. And it supports the new parallel libraries that are part of .NET 4.0. Here's a simple console application which shows how to use asynchronous methods. Inside the implementation we'll start up five separate threads with each of the methods running asynchronously. All the threads will get spawned and then we'll wait for an, the user to hit enter after all the threads have finished. Inside of the implementation of async method test, we'll output the values of the thread and the integer loop, and we'll notify the user when the thread is completed. Let's take a look at the execution output of the asynchronous method test. We see that the console application has started, all the threads have been spawned, and now the threads will execute and complete Delphi Prism also supports ASP.NET development. This example is using ASP.NET and talking through TCP IP to a Delphi native code data snap server. We can use the IDE to get the interfaces of that data snap server. It's talking through port 211. Data snap servers can communicate via TCP IP or HTTP. They can pass data, metadata, and make remote calls. Here we're going to use a data, data snap data provider. Uh, through connection string, make sure we can talk to the data snap server. We can also look at any metadata and data. We can also see any remote methods that we might want to call. In this case, we've got one for testing if someone's a valid user. We can use this uh, server explorer to test the interface by passing the parameters and clicking the execute button. And the execute button will tell us uh, false in this case. I did a password uh, mistake. So we'll fix the password and test. So we can test our remote methods through the server explorer. Here's the source code that's behind the ASP.NET client. You can learn more about Delphi Prism on the Delphi Prism product page at the Delphi Prism wiki. You can also download a trial of Delphi Prism. You can contact our sales office or one of our global partners for additional information. 